Hey there, everybody. Arlos here from Ice Games, bringing you episode 26 of my Rogue Trader Let's Play series. And uh, last episode was pretty was pretty awesome. We finished exploring the Hulk here, um, but uh, yeah, oh, can we still go back to it? Pretty sure we finished off everything to do with it, but we finished off uh, the Hulk. Uh, we kind of uh, looked at some of these worlds, got some uh, space combat in, got the plasteel done. But yeah, very, very interesting, uh, the battle here. I was not expecting to be fighting a Forge Fiend or, or any type of demon engine like that, uh, let alone survive it. But I assume that, you know, it's been in this Hulk for a while. It's been away from the warp. It hasn't had a uh, uh, Chaos Space Screen to look after it for a while to maybe do some repairs on it or something like that. Uh, so that, that's why it was easier enough, easy enough for us to take, out, take down. But yeah, definitely a scary scary combat um but yeah so we're we're ready to leave uh, this system uh, so let's hop out actually do i want i think these are just two and you're just oh maybe i do want the five for pages mm. let's take a look at our journal here for a second contract so you are xenotech this one is plus steel and this one is prometheum okay so maybe because i do only have two of those things um, the extractor is to put down. Maybe I will wait a little bit. I'm not sure how that'll work, so we'll figure that out. Let's go to the map of the Chronos Expanse and see where we're going to head to next. Okay, not here. Um, there we are. All right, so it looks like, yeah, we just have a yellow point to our first area. Ooh, we could... We could make a new route there, but it would be deadly, and that's not worth it. Um, so this one's yellow. Uh, they did say that orange ones are extremely dangerous. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one to yellow, uh, from orange to yellow. So let's let's do that. I mean, maybe maybe it's something I shouldn't be doing. Maybe I should be going through orange ones to get more events or, or something like that. But I'll I'll keep them yellow for now, um, because it'd be kind of fun to do some events. But I don't want anything too crazy. Uh, so let's travel to uh, uh, Trinitos. Womp, womp. Like we made it without any any bad things happening. Do a quick look here. All right, we got another yellow one. And then it looks like to some of these, some of these systems, we are going to oh, frozen prints, frozen prints. We do have to. Um, uh, use oh, oh oh I see there we go I can reduce the dangerous and un safe so I could use two to travel there so some of them are that's three to make it deadly this would be two to make it unsafe okay so some of them I thought we'd have to use three for all of them so that's actually kind of cool I like that some of them are a little bit easier to get to but uh, so let's visit this system visit Oh, looks like we're going to have some space combat. So we got some unknown ships, some unknown ships. Although that looks like, I mean, again, maybe, maybe it doesn't actually look like that. It looks like chaos. Maybe about one, two, three, four planets. All right. So let's, let's do some ship combat. Are we good for ship? Void ship management. We're good. Yeah, I think we're good there. Oh, no. Uh, I need to equip my better. Wait. Currently equipped. So this one, 80%. Oh, can equip. Okay. Can equip. Make sure I get the best things equipped. Can be equipped. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm tempted to try this. Instead of the lance. So it fires four shots, dealing 14 damage per shot. So it's 40 and a bunch of damage. So it's more damage. You know, let's try that. See how that works. All right, so let's uh, exit here. Ooh. And then let's uh, fight some ships. Who are we going to fight? Gosh, I do really enjoy ship combat in this game. I want another Battlefleet Gothic game, though. Although I, I would love a... If uh, the next... Next time they made, like, a Battlefleet Gothic game... Make it more like um, 
the tabletop game where it is turn based. That'd be kind of cool. I don't I don't mind it being um, all at once like the other two Battlefront game or Battle uh, Battlefleet Gothic Armada games have been. But I, I'd like maybe a turn based one. Oh, Iconoclast. So we're fighting. Okay, I wonder if we'll fight things. Oh, um, I wonder if we'll eventually fight things like uh, like Dauntlesses or or like cruisers, like lighter or. or or uh, regular cruisers. Oh my gosh, they're taking the damage from me. Not a lot. Can hold it. All right. What is? Oh, okay. So that's. It's very short range. You know what? Let's try it. Salvo. That did pretty good. Got another door. Micro cannons, open fire. Oh, you're not quite in range, so let's just pop out here and then go. Hello. There you go, one down. Let's go here. So I can get my other side. And get you. Coordinate set. Drop my torpedoes. Torpedoes. Away! And and turn. Oh, they're going to shoot at my torpedoes. Oh, okay. Oh, they missed, it looks like. Good. Okay. Oof. Ooh, who are we going to... Oh, looks like we can only hit this one. Let's destroy you with my torpedoes. Boom. Make every shot count. Let okay them here. say sour fury. And you're a little bit out of range. If I go maybe here, All I'll be in range. Prepare for acceleration. We'll see. No, not quite. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get in range with you. Yeah. All right. Uh, end turn. You gonna try to run away? Nope. I guess not. Macro cannons, open fire. There we go. Victory is ours. Okay, so we got um, another weapon here. Ooh, four, um, this is a side shot. Looks like okay. Ooh, that does that does look, like double my damage on one side. Oh, looks like we like leveled up or something, and we got some unholy ambulance. Okay, there. We did good there. I don't want to go do the other combat now. Um, so let's go to our ship management. Let's uh, upgrades. Okay, so here we go. I want reinforced shields would probably be good. Choose a sector of the slave ship. Void shields to reinforce until it suffers damage. Has been increased chance of absorbing enemy attacks and loses only half of its strength when absorbing fire. Let's grab that. And then Two extra range. Um, I, I'm trying to remember who's got abilities equipped. Oh, I don't have. A shield pulse. Darn. Uh, you've got turned into, head, into heading, though, so let's use that. And then you've got uh, warp wave. And you've got this one. Okay, let's go back to upgrades for a second. So let's do new heading. And then we're going to do warp wave. Causes the enemy ship to uh, immediately turn 45 or 90 degrees depending on the ship's maneuverability. Um, if the enemy ship has suffered hull damage, there's an abrupt. Uh, this abrupt turn additionally deals more damage. Oh, I make them turn. I kind of like that idea. Apply that. Go back to components here. Uh, yeah, I know about posts. Did posts. I'm pretty sure I had that already. All right. Um, how do I repair my ship? I'll repair. Except. 
Okay, let's take a look at where is this new gun I got? This one. I'm going to put that on this side. Wait a minute. Oh, it changes what both of them look like. Starboard is this side. That's interesting. I thought it would just change one side. Dorsal fan. Okay. So that's, I got the good one there. Four shots, 21 damage. So it does twice as much damage on my uh, starboard side. All right. So that's exit here. Uh, let's, uh, let's search some of these planets first then, I guess. See what we get here. We get a scan. A steel seven. There we go. Uh, the natural accum accumulation of irregularities on solid planetary surface have been detected. Uh, probability of occurrence of natural minerals high. So let's grab that. Get more steel here. Got all the steel. Go to this planet. Again, I only have one left. So I got to be careful of that scan so he popped up maybe he wants to talk nothing there oh okay that's just what you said from the last one okay. nothing here it's a burning world all right looks like we're gonna do some combat against some ships hopefully uh Kind of cool if it was Eldar. I don't know. I don't, again, I don't know if, I mean, I assume they are because there's Eldar weapons, weapons. I'm also really curious on what kind of demons there are, or like, are there other the alien races? The whispers sound distant. Ah, uh, it is Eldari. Uncertain. Oh no, are you firing torpedoes too? Okay, anywhere torpedoes. The enemy has launched torpedoes, however, you can destroy them before they reach you. Torpedoes have, oh, uh, are always fired in salvos, and they do not have shields or hull integrity. Each attack that hits a salvo and destroys one torpedo per shot. Though from here out, you may encounter clusters of small ships that follow the same rules in combat as torpedo. Okay. Oh, so maybe like we'll eventually run into like boarding vehicles and stuff. Um, oh, what's the name of their hollow fields? That's it. I'm, just, I'm like, what's the he ho oh, it's the, the 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 range of their stuff? Also. I don't see a sun edge, because in Battlefleet Gothic, Eldar ships, you kind of see they got, it's hard to see because they're moving around, uh, but they got sails. Essentially, those, those and those take um, energy from the sun, so if they're moving to based on where the sun is, that actually is how far they can go, which is kind of neat. Very um, uh, naval combat in that way. Uh, so starboard is my good one. Let's go here. I want to try to hit the torpedoes. No, I don't think I have to. No, I don't want to do my own torpedo. Try to hit you. Salvo! Missed. Okay. Make every shot count. Missed. Okay. Let's move here. Salvo! Because if they move like us, um, it'll probably be hard for them to get them. Oh, I can't see anything. Let's drop our own torpedoes here. Don't know if they can turn this quick, and if they do, that's fine. Um, oh, actually. Oh, I think I wasted that. Oh, well. Can I make you turn? There we go. Oh, I should have done it to you. Take damage. Anyways, and turn. Oh yeah, see they're going straight. And they've only got two turns. They have the name of the weapons and stuff too. Shadow Lance. Oh they already, yeah, they got Shadow Lances. Ah uh, It's really cool to see the Eldar looking like this. Because uh I'm not gonna lie, I have an uh an Eldar. Sorry, Eldari. Uh, I forgot that's what they called now. 
I've got Naldari. Uh, is that how it's supposed to work? I don't think I'm doing that right. Oh well. Make every shot count. Okay. Uh, guess we're gonna intern. Um, but yeah, I've got an Aldari. Uh, Battlefleet Gothic Army and a Tau one. Tau Merchant Fleet, technically. I think those could be just running right there. Oh, and they just blew up. Good. I'm gonna drop more. No? Okay. So then let's. You're in range here. Oh man, they're really hard to hit. Come up behind you now. Not so again, what's cool in Battlefield Gothic, the, the, the miniature game, is Eldar ships could just, at the start of each turn, could just pick a direction to go. don't think they're doing that right now, but that would be cool. Hi. Let the void sort them out. Oh, did you just not move at all? Oh, that's neat. I think they just didn't move at all. All right, let's try doing this because they're injured. Yeah, I blew it up. Haha. -ha. Let's shoot you. I think I'm gonna have to move into you. So I tried doing something to you Make and then you did it to me. Counts. Helmsman. Oh no, I can move through it. Oh, awesome. Well, let's go this way then. That was cool. Okay. Salvo. And oh wait, is that? I still have tor torpedoes, but they don't have like a number or anything on them. And torpedoes run into torpedoes. Curious by that. And enter. Oh, they just blew up. Oh, that means we went. Oh, the torpedo still count as like an enemy. Okay. We got some wraith thrown fragments there. Some extra scrap. Don't think we really took much damage. That was kind of fun. Again, I like that. Where is. What chip? Oh, we did take some damage. Go. How much do I need to upgrade my hull? 155. Okay. Exit. Let's go to this planet here. Begin scan. Oh. Uh, Lord Captain, we've received the transmission from Foulstone. It was sent by members of the Order of the Hammer. Uh, Bateries of Saint uh, Cogni Cog uh, Cognitus whose monastery is the only settlement on the planet. Or rather, it used to be. Some time ago, a transport vessel, the Navica, unloaded several thousand refugees from a planet belonging to Rogue Trader Winterscale. The Order of the Hammer has judged the invasion to be an act of aggression and is asking you uh, for your lordship's protection. Um, so you will not abandon people of faith and distress. Prepare a landing party. My shadow, I will... Uh, I'm taking the monastery into my protection. Ooh, do I want to take the monastery of the people? From, uh, are... Those people are victims, not invaders. Uh, prepare my shuttle. I still head to the planet and resolve this conflict. Yeah, they're not. They're not. Uh, how my rogue traders acted before. Uh, I don't think they're invading. They are just. They're just refugees. So let's. Uh, as it pleases your lordship, let's end dialogue. Oh, oh, okay. So it's not. We're not actually going to the planet. We're getting one of these story things. So, Cronus Expanse, uh, the ancestor system, Monastery of St. Uh, Cognitus, uh, Foulstone. Chronicle complied by the humble archivist brother, uh, Petrico. So, six score and eleven days before the Feast of the Passing of Nicomedes Cafe, the champion of faith, uh, 
marred uh, the claim of the monastery to the Order of the Hammer. Countless tortured souls steeped in fear arrived on Foulstone in the star uh, part. Uh, a great uh, apostates had befallen our home and turned them into abject wanderers seeking help and refuge. Their wicked and cruel captain, the owner of the Navica, and betrayed, had betrayed them. Once the unknown souls in his care had made landfall and the world surf on the world's surface, he most deviously recalled his shuttles and left, thus ridding himself of his duty and care of the unfortunate lot. Oh, that's not cool. Not knowing how they would survive in Foulstone's grim wasteland, the forsaken people came to the monasteries of uh, the saint, where they are uh, there they surrounded its walls. They hammered their fists at the gate and implored and wailed, Take us in, protect us. And at once, uh, and what was once a place of serenity and grace is now full of din, disorder, and the manner of things despicable. The interlopers brought with them worldly uh, futility and strife. It may hap also the seed of uh, luring blasphemies. Uh, if uh, uh, feedly heathens lurk in their misc. Okay, so after a prayer, uh, they turned his eye to, uh, to the past and search inspection. Okay, so they're asking me for guidance. So, Prelate Hectaris uh, recalled the first uh, missionaries to set foot on Foulstone's vast wasteland. Led by their zeal uh, for the saint and those missionaries uh, had received the blessing of uh, Nicomade's Cafe, the champion of faith who had traveled with them from their star, uh, star like starship, uh, to found uh, in its place a humble and pure abode within the cultivated wisdom of the piety. Uh, and the saint, a man of great endeavors, a warrior and a wise artificer, never cowered behind the walls of the librarium, but stepped bravely into the darkness, carrying light in the palm of his hand, and he commanded others to do the same. And not only uh, Foulstone, but many other worlds in the Cronus Expanse bear its imprint. Okay, he did welcome the interlopers warmly uh, as his guest, but he did warn his brethren to keep their vigilance. Okay, so the brethren and sisters of the Order of the Hammer came forth to meet the strangers, carrying water and protein uh, victuals and medicine, med uh, medicinal herbs and jugs of Prometheum. But the crowd came to blows over uh, Vidans and blood was spilled, and many were trampled and mauled in the stampede, some of them dwellers of the monastery. Then the warriors of the Order of Hammer donned their flat cowls, inscribed words of praise to the god emperor on their tactical visors, and went forth, ready to render service in battle. With last guns and bolters, they pierced the interlopers with their chainswords and power flails uh, that struck them, and a great and bloody harvest was reaped that day. But the interlopers, too, scant though their armament was, and scattered it their skill in battle, slew many of the monastery's dwellers, for great were their number and greater their determination. The monks fled be beyond the walls and the range of Vox Alorum and shut the gate. The command, uh, the commanded an armed guard to keep watch over the gate, saying, you know, slaying any who approached. So a, a squall broke out. The hungry and sick lay siege to the monastery, begging for help uh, in their spite. They blocked the water collector and unpowered the genitarium. Uh, the faithful in the meantime made ready to resist, and a miracle came to pass. The god emperor sent his champion a confident right hand, the rogue trader of the blessed von Valencius. May the light of his grace remain upon it forever. The blessed rogue trader. Okay, so that's what happened before we showed up. Now this is what we get to decide. Oh, that's me. Hey, that's me being awesome. Okay, so I can uh, I can summon them to be held account for their deeds. I can command his formidable boarding force upon the interlopers. Extend the vial of protection to the interlopers and take them into his care and verify all of Foulstone with them. Unleash the armed force upon the interlopers and monks alike. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Cast uh, eyes in the aftermath of bloodshed and depart the world uh, with words of abuse and reproach. I think I'm going to do the Iconoclast one. So I'll, I'll take the interlopers with me into my ship. I can always use more deckhands. That way, you know, I'll take them. I'll I'll protect them. The monastery can still be the monastery. Yeah, I think that's the nice way to do it. I love how the dogmatics that killed the interlopers, hereticals that kill them both. Um, kind of class, let's do that. So humbly, the order of the hammer, he did the god emperor's uh, confidence and unsealed the airlocks and opened the gate of his abode. And brought forth gifts of virtue and uh, relieve uh, to uh, relieve the suffering of the ill-stricken. 
After a prayer, the architect set to work. In accordance with the saint's teachings and the parameters set forth in the standard temple construct, they erected spacious living quarters and sturdy fort walls for the planetary militia, and a spacious uh, auditorium wherein uh, to trade and store goods, and a proud custodium whose, uh, with whose walls uh, clerks and servo bondsmen would maintain order and keep records. Uh, and a new yet righteous way came to life on Faustin. People rejoiced and all was good. Did I? Do something to... Oh! I... Certain... Oh, certain... I have a colony. I made it a colony. Okay. Only only certain worlds, usually the most habitable, are suitable for establishing thriving colonies uh, for rep development. Completing crowd projects uh, the, in colony events can earn the wrong trader. Unique rewards cannot be obtained uh, through other means. Let's see. Um, projects are the backbone of the colony development. Completing them requires resources that can be obtained by exploring planets and cosmic anomalies. Uh, completing the projects take time. While you continue your travels throughout the Cronus campaign, uh, you will receive a notification on the screen when a project is finished, informing you that the reward can now be claimed. Oh! Oh, I've got a colony now! Neat! Okay, so Fallowstone is now my colony. So, I, I own it now. Let's see. So, I can do a project oh i'm guessing it's only one of these so i can do for saint Druis. so i can do uh the powerfully influence of the saint i can do something there that will oh it blocks so it's only requirement is that it blocks these two but it'll give me 20 holy gifts profit factor of two the dercians more reputation and Produced in the colony would be more efficient. And I get the Infernal? Uh, Infernical, which is a two-handed flamer. Okay. High Throne. Ecclesiarchy lacks the, the capital of the Crow's Expanse. The guy that McFowl's known a sense of the status of a cardinal world. If this administration can pursue this. Okay, so I get Holy Gifts, Profit Factor, Security. Oh, they might get negative events? So critical hit chance against Chaos Enemies. Well, I, oh, the Void Chip. It's the Emperor's Retribution. Or the Celestial Protector. No one in the entire Cronus Expanse will make uh, the worthier guardian uh, will make a worthier guardian of a Sanctuary of Faith than the, than the head of the Von Valencies. Okay, so I'll get more Holy Gifts, more Profit Factor. Uh, affects the amount of Profit Factor produced by the colony and the speed of project. Okay. And I get Prowsh... Plus 30% to the prow, prow shield sector. Oh. Now I get to decide. Do I want... So essentially, I just get a weapon that... Oh. I'm tempted to do this one just because that's a new weapon. And I get some reputation points. So let's do this one. I'll do it for the saint. I won't get the other ones, but that's fine. I can do that. How long does it take? Does it tell me how long it takes? Oh, this will be the next ones. Cool. Okay. And then there's a third rank. Neat. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So let's exit this. I guess that it'll take some time for us to do that. Probably a long time, not going to lie. All right, so we got a colony now. Awesome, okay. Uh, oh, you can imagine your colonies remotely through the colony management screen. What's that? Uh, is that... Well, that's contract. Uh, what's the colony management screen? Oh, there, colony management. Okay. Oh, and I'm guessing if I had multiple ones, they'd be up here. Okay. So let's, uh, I guess, exit the system now. I think we're going to head to next. And I definitely have some options. So I could head right to here, which is going to give me Janus. But I think I want to do a little bit more exploring this episode. So let's head to... Oh, that's right. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to head to Omicron. That's a yellow one. I can go to the system here, but I want to go to this yellow one. Let's travel. Oh, permission uh, Permission to report, Lord Captain. I keep receiving messages about strange behaviors in certain ship systems. 
All decks report the uncontrollable opening and closing of doors, gates, and orlock, uh, airlock. They behave erratically and do not obey the operator's commands. Regrettably, this has led to casualties among the crew. The tech priests have explained that these phenomenon are being caused by the machine spirits uh, in computer, um, uh, and, and have spent hours, they, so they, the, they think the machine spirits all messed up. Uh, they spent hours chanting litanies to soothe their anger. Unfortunately, many crew members were badly injured before the prayers could uh, stabilize the system. Okay, so something bad happened. Actually, do I have any other missions I need to be doing? Um, a new ruler. Each vassal world of treasures. Okay, rogue trader has access, so I just need to um, complete a development project. There we go. Of the highest difficulty of the colony. I think it's a critical task. Oh, I need to um, do this. Let's do this before I do anything else. Uh, I believe critical task. Uh, one of the fuel levers is in poor state. Inspect it and diagnose a problem. So I need to expect the fuel lever on the, the ship. Oh, let's chart you. So they come back to some of these, maybe? No, okay. Um, so I'm going to head back to my... Oh, they get four level now. So every new, every new system I chart, I get one. Cool, okay. I'm going to head to the bridge here. And see if I can fix this problem. And also, I want to check... Um, uh, buying new items now, so. Buying new items for us. Loading, 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 loading. All right. Okay, so let's, um, no, wait, where do I go to do this? Expect the fuel lever on the ships. Where's the fuel lever? I don't know where the fuel lever is. Okay, I want to go talk to you first. Okay, let's talk about goods. You're going to get another thousand. So that'll take us almost to level two. I really want that head. Okay, and I've got 26 now. Yeah, so that's good. Okay, I should be fine. Oh, uh, let's go to the Imperial Navy. 2300. I'll save that for now. Oh, oh. Okay, it's on the bridge here. Where are we gonna go? Nope. Oh. Um. Have the tech a priest and adeptus mechanics been able to determine? Discern how the ship was able to start her warp engine. Engineer Prime spends hours pursuing the quest of knowledge in hopes of comprehending uh, the nature of said miracle. May the omnicized grace uh, guide him on his journey. I have no doubt uh, that it was a miracle sent by the Omnissiah. Okay, so remind me who you are. Okay, that's just that's nothing going on there. Okay. Fuel rod. Where is the fuel rod thing I need to go to? Not up here. Oh, here we go. Activate the control panel. Fuel system anal analyst. Uh, no failure system detected. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's smoking. It shouldn't be smoking, right? 
That's bad, right? Did we finish that? Um, sh the ship's box system is need uh, thorough fabrication. Meet the box master of the bridge to discuss the matter. Okay. You're over here, I think, right? Yes. Okay, Lord Captain, the ship informed me of our imminent meeting. Uh, my personal logs uh, states that the ship box system is malfunctioning. Can you explain? So, uh, Lord Captain, the box system is functioning as expected, and no communication problems have been reported uh, in any uh, by any of the crew. Please allow me to check the system's calibration settings in your presence uh, to alleviate your concern any concerns you may have about its performance. Its thin fingers dart between hundreds of wires and cables in the control panel, flipping switches and turning dials. Uh, she issues commands and methodically checks the lines of communication with the crew on every deck. At last, accompanied by the sound of static, the crackling of the box and the flickering of signal light, the dance of her hands concludes. All finished, Lord Captain. No issues detected. The system is working as expected. Um, thank you for your service, Lord Captain. Okay, we did that. Does that change it to something else now? Um, the Forgotten Twin System is a particular interest of the Rogue Trader. Okay. So that's a different system. Right? Okay. Okay, I guess that's what we needed to do, so now we gotta go to the Forgotten um, Twins. Do I know where it is? Oh, there it is. So I'm glad it, it points it out to do what we, we need to do. Okay, so let's, let's visit Omnicron. Okay, so we got some space dust. Space dust. Ooh, some uh, trophies. The fuel. Got a couple star systems here. Ooh, what's this? The ruins of an ancient imperial city were discovered in the dead world, completely deprived of an ecosystem. According to the reports, the entire settlement is contained in a titanic glass dome that once held an artificial atmosphere. Your augurs detected the framework of three uh, similar structures that were never completed. For whatever reason, the dome system failed and left behind uh, in the city. The ghost that never managed to become a proper colony of the Imperium. Oh, let's see. Let's, uh... Send out crews to explore the city's temple district. Oh, we'll we get some holy gifts. Got that. The temple district. Oh, it gets blessed holy and gifts. Blessed holy bolter casings. Single attack of the bolter weapons automatically hit the target. Oh, oh, that's actually really good. Temple district is situated in the heart of the city. The god emperor's statue uh, is intricately carved with precious crystal. It is suspended beneath the dome and supported by chains of gold and can be seen from anywhere in the colony. Inspired by the majestic sight, the expedition members set off to explore the area with renewed vigor. Soon enough, they stumble upon an ancient weapon lying on a pedestal wreathed in sunlight. The expedition brought it back to the ship and told many tales about how the Emperor himself, who had been watching them from above, had directed their action, attention to the sacred relic. Okay, can I... Uh, order the scouts to gather as many supplies as possible. Oh, and we do get a bunch of supplies. Awesome, so accept that. Your people flood the city with like a tidal wave. Filling uh filled building after uh filled building after building, bunkhouse after bunkhouse, and receded from the quiet streets just as quickly. There were plenty of useful things among their findings, including food foodstuffs and weapons. Originist mechanica stuff and uniform kit. Okay. Um drain the remaining fuel from the generator stations. The city won't be needing them anymore. Alright, some more trophies for fuel. Take several trips to deliver the massive uh, Prometheum tanks uh, to your vessel. The crew grimly points out that the colony was running out of fuel. Uh, had the life support system not failed uh, prematurely, the locusts would have had perished due to lack of energy. And let's explore the local palace. <gasps> Ooh, I got a ghost sword. A lavish decorated estate of uh, the local ruler uh, towers over rows of featureless bunkhouses. Several explorers perished uh, from the cleverly hidden tripwires in the courtyard. But after losing their companions, the team easily disarmed the remaining traps in the estate. Anything of value 
has been promptly delivered to the rogue trader's vessel. The Lord Captain has even given the, an inquisitive sword found in the secret cache that once belonged to the mansion, uh, mansion's owner. The way ghost sword. <gasps> oh, it's an Aldari weapon. Cool. Okay, so leave the dead city. Ooh, it's an Aldari weapon. Dead world. Um, let us. You equip it. Get you. Oh, that's a chain sword. That one. Is that the ghost sword? It is not as strong as the one you currently have. So no, you won't be equipping that. Um, and I think you should probably equip talisman. I have right. Yes, look at that. Uh, single attacks uh, with a bolter weapon mod automatically hit a target. That's awesome, actually. Because you will be using bolter weapon. Oh, that's not what you use. Nope. Put that one. Go down here. Begin scan. Alright, so I the magnetic storm. So the magnetic storm raging from the planet blurs the gaze of your auger arrays only truly powerful diviner machines can see the occurrence of magnetic fluctuations on their blessed vigil and discover the mysteries of this god emperor forsaken planet rogue trader has decided to leave this unwelcoming world maybe he'll return here one day oh so i probably have to upgrade my augers uh if i hit j here is that a rumor i the manic storm yeah All right, so let's head to this planet. Kind of love. I really do like this part of it, like the exploring part. It's like we found a void ship uh, uh, that was okay. I've got enough glass steel. I'm not going to do that. Also reminds me, I do have to return to football uh, eventually uh, because I have found more than ten planets. All right, so. Oh, so this planet doesn't have a thing. Okay. Let's go here. Warp travel here. Um, Actually, you know what? I'm going to make this little... Eh, you know what? Let's warp travel. Lord Captain, I hasten, hasten to report the disturbing news brought to me by the machine spirit of your ship. The matter is extremely delicate and concerns Lady Cassia. You see, since her first day aboard, her presence has been a disturbance to the crew's way of life. If you'll allow, I have prepared a detailed report. Um, she's an honored guest on this void ship, and the voidsmen must come to terms with her oddities and uh, caprices. And for those who cannot, uh, lash every one of them know. Uh, deliver your report. The first incident occurred immediately after our departure from Uruk 5. The Lady Navigator chastised one of the ship runners, after which he went to his living quarters, killed his family, and then shot himself. The second innocent uh, incident was noted uh, while traversing the warp. The Lady Navigator gave the pilots wrong instructions and the void ship was thrown off Kurt for a matter of minutes, uh, but that was enough for the forces of the, of the Immaterium to anger the machine spirits enough for them to start a, to a fire in the surface bay. After that, officers living near the Lady Navigator's quarters began to express extreme emotions, hysteria, apathy, um, euphoria, rage. It was quite uh, detrimental to crew morale and uh, performance. The last incident uh, was recorded on football. Uh, around 100 living birds were delivered on board during our stay on football. Each bird cost a hefty sum, but I have failed to discover their purpose in subsequent fate. I was told about the conflict between Lady Navigator and the Seneschal. Alas, with no details, if you like, we can uh, ask uh, the Master directly. Things have gotten worse uh, with Jay uh, Hedera. I intercepted a Vox cast in which she promised she would, and I quote, end that Kasha, if she ever saw her again. If I may, Lord Captain, Lady Gavigator's state of mind worries me. She is self-contained and does not mesh with the crew at all, which is why everyone avoids her. Even senior officers can be superstitious. I fear that only that only you are in a position to talk to her on an equal footing and improve the situation, for the sake of the crew's safety and Lady Cassia herself. Okay. I need to speak with her. So let's... Uh... Oh, chart new things. Oh, we got a, a red one to here. Let's visit the system. I do got to talk to Lady Cassia then. System spell 
Speculo. Speculo. All right, we got a unknown ships here. Let's go to this planet first. Begin scan. All right, uh, Xenotech of three, um, and a anomaly. I think I'm gonna save that for now. Uh, yeah, let's check here. I I know there's something there. Let's let's scan the rest of the system before I set foot somewhere. Because again, it could be a massive. Massive event, I don't know. Let's go here and help the ship battle. Alright, um, so I get some fabric. Some night weave still. Got some items. Some Xeno ruins. Alright, let's do some ship combat. Unknown ships. The report shows up uh, on your personal conjugator screen. Unknown pirates are towing the interstellar sextant, a cargo ship belonging to one of football's wealthiest traders. It looks like the pirates have bitten off more than they can chew. They're now being forced to drag the ship to a more secluded place where they can flutter it undisturbed. Well, let's attack the pirates. As soon as they see you, the escort ship charge into battle at once while the captive sextant powers up its warp engines. Unless you intercept the preparation of the jump, the cargo ship will forever vanish beyond the veil of immaterium, along with the riches all right so let's we can't let it get away i'm not sure how we're gonna stop it from getting or maybe if we attack it and blow it up maybe i guess we don't want to blow it up but we want to do damage to it let's see here so disengaging how do we stop it from it disengaging? Is that like a, we have four turns to destroy them? Four. Okay. Go here for now. You are in range. Let's Let them here. taste our fury. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna do the starboard attack. Salvo. Okay, you're destroyed. Make every shot count. Macro cannons, open fire. Then let actually have you make you turn to a different direction. There we go. And enter. Oh, I must reach here. Forgot that part. Now I can enter. Again, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to destroy it or not. We'll find out. Oh, you're trying to come around? We surrender. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Okay, so it looks like they, they have stopped moving now. So I did just have to do a bunch of damage to them. Well, let's... Let's actually use this ability. Oh, it flies the ship in a straight line and does a U-turn. Oh, you can do this. Let's go hit you from the front. Spin around. Okay, so they're they're not disengaging anymore. Should be good. Salvo. We just got three enemies now. Awesome. And turn. Okay, so I finally used my uh, turning ability properly. Alright, 
you're trying to disengage. I can't have that. have that now, can we? And enter. They're Viper class destroyers. Oh, they had they had uh torpedoes. Macro cannons, open fire. Destroy you. Engage the engines. Move up to you because you've got. I still got one more front weapon to shoot. And those torpedoes are pretty far away. Make you spin around. Haha. <laughs> and enter. I like that making them spin around ability. That's kind of fun. Let them taste our fury. Hey. Okay. You want to move here? That he used my front weapons. Make every shot count. Oh no, he blew you up. Okay, well we win. All hands, prepare for acceleration. Okay, enter. There we go. There we go. Battle's over. We get a Starbreaker lance weapon. Dorsal Lance Weapon dealing 32 to 40 damage. That's pretty good. And then we've got... Uh, Void Pirate. Get a bunch of scrap. Dealing 14. Yeah, this does so much more damage. This is up to 24. This will do 32 to 40. Okay, so let's accept this. Now we're even stronger. I love that so much. Okay. I need to equip that on my ship before I forget. Uh, oh, we can level up too. So this will replace our dorsal weapon here. Oh yeah, look at that! Look at that! Got a lance on the front now. Increase the. Oh, we should heal up too. 190 health. All oh, the health now. All right, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. Uh, so next episode, we'll hop onto this planet and uh, see what's going on there. Maybe we'll actually grab that Xenotech, too. I'm not sure. Oh, that could bring us up to 30 profit factor if we do that one mission, right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, things are going pretty well for our Rogue Trader. Uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying this series. I'm, I really like this exploring um, the world thing that we're doing. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like, subscribe button. If you don't like what you see, you can hit the dislike button, too. But hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. And as always, until next time... Keep your stick on the ice.